It's the start of term at Van Mildert and students are starting to get involved in all kinds of activities. It's really been wonderful to see the variety of things that are going on here. For some of you it's music, for some of you drama, for some of you dance, for others it's politics or journalism, for others entrepreneurship, for others sports. And all this activity has got me thinking about freedom. As students you really have a lot of freedom. Nobody is going to tell you when to get up and when to go to bed. Nobody's going to make sure that you've started reading the book on Wednesday for the lecture on Friday. You have freedom to decide how you're going to spend your time, how you're going to spend your money, how you're going to invest your energies. The historian of ideas Isaiah Berlin distinguished between two kinds of freedom or what he called two concepts of liberty. On one hand there was negative liberty on the other hand, positive liberty. Now negative liberty is being free from constraints or coercion in the way you live your daily life. Positive liberty means being free for something, free to do something, free to pursue your own understanding of happiness, your own fulfillment and to do so in your own way. So negative liberty and positive liberty are two sides of the coin of freedom. As university students you have both these kinds of freedom to some extent. You're relatively free from coercion or constraint but you're also free for what you want to do. You're free to pursue your own understanding of happiness and fulfillment to do so in your own way. And so as you figure out what it is that you want to do, how you want to spend your time and ultimately what kind of person you want to be, I hope that you will use your freedom and use it wisely and responsibly so that when you look back on your university career you have something to be proud of.